Lakeside Dental Clinic Go on Shaw TV is brought to you by Nanaimo Lakeside Dental Clinic. Delivering dental services including IV sedation, implants, and same-day implant supported dentures all under one roof. More online, lakesidedentalclinic.ca. You're watching Go for the week of August 12th through the 19th. A big shout out to Kelly Robinson and the rest of the team for filling in during my last holidays of this summer. But it's great to be back. We're here at the Harbor City Theatre, one of two venues for the sixth annual Nanaimo Fringe Festival. Collaborating on a vision for a shared multi-use facility at Bevan Park, the Snowbirds ambassadors for the Child Foundation an unusual visitor gets a personal tour. Locals participate in a worldwide scavenger hunt. Creativity is key, and Nanaimo geeks out in a whole new way. This is Ann Taylor. She's the general manager for the Nanaimo Fringe Festival. There are some folks out there, including Todd behind the camera today, who don't know what Fringe is. So back to basics. What is a Fringe Festival? Uh, fringe Festival started in Edinburgh. Uh, there was a large festival there, and there was many groups who couldn't get in. So a festival developed around the fringes of that festival, and the name has carried on. So we are part of the Canadian Association of Fringe Festivals. Um, and so we have Fringe Festivals that are in Canada, obviously, um, many of them across the, the country, but it also exists all over the world. I was just in New Zealand and stopped by a Fringe Festival in Wellington, which what, was... What um, kind of performances fabulous. are you going to see? Like, what makes Fringe different from a regular theatre? I know they're short, yep. often one person, mm -hmm. unjuried. Yeah, unjuried and 100% of the box office goes back to our Fringe festival artists. Is there a little bit of a disclaimer then? Fringe Festival is not responsible for the quality of experience that you're going to have? Yes. <laughs> if, if they, uh, I, I suppose there are, there are lines, but um, we like to stay out. We like to let them create, um, create theater and we give them a space to do that in. Mm. It's actually really inspiring to see people doing what they want to do creatively on stage without the restrictions or guidelines that exist in different theater venues. What's special this year? It's the sixth annual. Uh, We're going to meet all the performers later, but how do you, how do you sum up this year's flavor? Uh, this year's flavor... It's, it's exciting. It's my first year at this Fringe Festival. Uh, I worked at the Vancouver Fringe Festival for many, many years, and now I'm here. So it's, it's an exciting year for me because it's my first year here. Um, what else is special? Uh, we have two venues, and one of them is down at the Conference Center, who are huge supporters of us. Um, so yeah, they're right here special. where we are, Harbor City Theatre. Yes. And it's, uh, it's over two weeks. Tell me the dates. Tell me where you can get more information, sort of ticket prices, stuff like that. How do people get out there? All right, it starts tonight, uh, August 11th, and it goes until the 21st of August. We have shows Thursdays through Sundays, both weekends. Um, ticket prices are $12, or you can buy a festival pass, which is only $40, and then you get to see five shows, so it's a very good deal. Um, you have to buy a $5 membership button, and that's how the Fringe Festival fundraises and keeps on going. And I know we're getting close to the end of our time, but I think one important element to Fringe is the collaboration. There's a fringe hub and people get together and they write things on walls and share the experience and it, it really becomes a community of fringe and I think that's one of the best experiences. Yes, very all. much so. Excellent. Thank yeah. you, Anne. We'll see you Thank at the you. theater. <laughs> we'll be sharing with you all of the performances that make up the sixth annual Nanaimo Fringe Festival throughout the course of the next hour. It's time now to check in with Annette Lucas. There are a lot of changes coming for Bevan Park.